you know, I've been thinking about this for, well, I think quite a while, honestly, and um, I'm overweight. The reason I say that I'm overweight is because um, I've gained a lot of weight throughout the past two plus years. I know I made a video about this a couple of days ago, they're saying I'm, uh, I've gained weight, this and that. A lot of people, people, a lot of you guys said, well, my God, there's only one thing that you can and should do is reduce the amount of mukbang videos, but also work out. And I have worked out in like two years or something. I do play football, as you goddamn Americans say. Sucker. Yeah, nasty. Yeah. Watch this video get 15 dislikes as I say that. <laughs> Sorry, I love y'all, but it ain't suck in my opinion, but... Yeah, I've gained weight, man, and I am actually starting to get annoyed by it because I thought, you know what, let's go on the, on the scale this, this morning and right? let's see how much drastically I've changed weight-wise. It was more than I thought it would be. Like, I was like, holy shit, because I can remember the last time I wore, right? So let's go to two years ago when I made my mukbangs. You could already tell I look much thinner. Uh, I'm not, I don't really want to say necessarily healthier. And the reason I think I've also gained weight is because in activity, I stopped playing football off like 2019. Uh, actually, off 2020, really. A whole year, no football. And me just at home the whole time because of this pandemic, right? And I wasn't even paying attention to me gaining weight. I was like, oh. Shit, I'm gaining a little bit of weight. Uh, okay, that's cool. I just work it off. I do make a lot of videos on my mukbang channel, which is called Keegan Mukbangs. I know, I'm quite aware of that, but... I feel as if, like, I am overweight. And I'm starting to feel uncomfortable in my skin as well. So you're wondering how much I woke two years ago. I woke 67 kilos. I've gained 13 plus kilos. Actually, 15 kilograms in two years. That's quite heavy. I've noticed it as well. Um, I've stopped smoking about two months ago. I don't know if that necessarily has an effect on my weight. I don't know if that particularly has, an, had, a, has had an effect on me gaining weight. I don't think so. I just think it's because of inactivity and not doing a lot, you know. But yeah, I went on the scale like 82.5 kilo with clothing on, obviously. So it's a little bit unfair. It's a little bit unfair, obviously, to say that. But around 82 estimate. And I've got a stomach. I ain't even gonna lie. The food that I've been eating is buzzing. Been enjoying my food as well. If there's a reason why I intend to wear this kind of clothing, in my videos and um, well because it sort of like hides my stomach you see with these kind of shirts let me grab them. give me one second you see with this kind of shirt it's thin it's lightweight but when it comes to this kind of clothing you can hardly tell or see that I've got a stomach and I am a little bit embarrassed about the fact that I have a stomach because I feel like I shouldn't be this weight I don't have obesity nothing like that but I should really reduce the amount of food I consume but also do more activities like I have to do more stuff and my father told me it's not really healthy at your age. It's not necessarily like it's a bad thing, but it's not healthy. You should be 73, 75 kilos. At least that's what a doctor would advise. If it's true, I don't know. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to have to do workouts. I'm going to have to do something, you know. I need to do something. I need to exercise, right? But then here's my question. What exercise would you guys recommend? I don't give a shit about a goddamn six-pack. I don't care about that, but... Just so I can lose a bit of weight. Uh, I don't really care that much about muscles or stuff, building up those kind of stuff. I'm a goddamn vegetarian, man. What do I need to do with muscles? <laughs> but I need to... I feel like I have to need to lose weight. That's my accomplishment this year. I have to lose weight, I feel like. Because it's sorting to be uncomfortable with walking as well. Like when my stomach pops out a bit. It's just very uncomfortable. Now, God knows how the fuck people can... Be double the size of their body. Uh, you got some people with major weight problems. This isn't even a bad thing necessarily, but it can go out to be a bad thing. I don't want to have more than my BMI. You know that that's not what you want as well. Uh, but yes, it has had an effect because of inactivity, consuming a large amount. Well, yeah, a large amount of foods in the mug pings, but also just not moving enough. Like three, four times a day, walking. 10 minutes each, it's not enough, and I know that, and it's not intense enough, it needs to be intensive, you know. But I need to lose weight, I really feel like, and I want to do it ASAP as possible. I am going to see if I can gather some supplies for when I got my crib, soon or later, but I need to do something, you know. I have to, and I must do something, because I can't live like this, at the goddamn age of 19 years old. Having a belly, now, this is the weird thing, like, when I was still at school, I was the... I guess not not the sportiest person, there was one person above me in the class who went to like gym four fucking five times a week, god damn it. No, it's the only thing I guess. But he was like a muscle guy, He's not muscle building up leg, nothing really like six packs wise maybe. Uh, that doesn't interest me, I don't have to impress the ladies and shit. 
say, "Oh my God, I got a six pack." I bet you, I bet you, most f women probably don't even like six packs, or like muscles. I find it cringy as, shit, as hell. I I cringe when I see people with muscles like flexing in this. But you know, I got muscles. <clears throat> I bet you, if I really went to the gym, I would have a really killer body. If I had determined and had dedication towards uh, going to the gym five, six times a week. I would have a killer body, but I also don't have the motivation. I lack the motivation for it because it's not something that I thrive for necessarily. Like my dedication is this YouTube channels, these YouTube channels that are on, right? And I'm also not really a gym freak um, because, well, I don't like people, man. I, I don't. Yeah, I guess you can say I goddamn despise people a little bit, but I don't like going out to public places. It's just something I don't like to go to. I try to avoid public places as much as I can possibly. Because I don't feel comfortable with the people around me. I just always got a feeling they're staring at me. I've never been into an actual gym. Um, like, never ever been to an actual gym. And I don't know what it feels like. But uh, you also got to wear a mask, which... F no, I'm not wearing a god the mask while training. That's bullshit in my opinion. Who the hell does that? It's weird, man. It's, it's ridiculous. But oh well. That's the first reason why I don't want to go, at least now. Time for me is also very important. Because where, do, where will I find the time out during the day of me going to the gym and actually doing some exercises because I record five or six videos every day you hear me correctly, between five and six, sometimes even eight videos at one day and I edit them all myself I don't have an editor, I have no one that I pay for because I like to edit my own stuff because why would I have, why would I pay someone, I'm not that goddamn lazy I'm smart, it saves me money as well um, oh hey, that's the, oh no, it's not the guy, it's a glamour for spreading <laughs> the advert they think they but well, like I said, I am gaining weight. I was actually really shocked when I went on a scale this uh, afternoon. Like, oh my god, like, god damn. I didn't know I would that much. I really thought around 76, 78 kilo, but not 80 plus. I've never, and I kid you guys not, never been above that weight class. Never. Never, never, never. I should be maximum 75 kilogram. So I actually should lose 7 kilograms. God knows how I am going to do that, but I think also like reducing the amount of drinking, like drinking I mean energy drinks, uh, sugar drinks, I don't even drink energy, like the stuff that has a lot of additives and sugars added to it, something that eventually will climb up to a whole ball of just you having crap in your body, and I don't need it, and I, and I shouldn't have that, right? I'm proud of myself, don't get it wrong, I really am, I'm proud of my body, but I'm just not proud of myself for, for letting my body go this far. I haven't been paying attention to my body at all for the past year and a half to, I, I was thought, oh, gaining weight, it's not an issue for me, I'm probably not going to gain any weight. Boy, was I wrong, was I very, very, very wrong there, because I'm getting older, I've gotten older, I'm 19 plus, and I'm already 80 plus kilo, which... Like I said, the thing is, in my class, when I still was at school, I was not, I was actually not the fattest at all. I had this kid in my class who was like 130 kilogram, like, that's heavy, bro, but he did all kind of sort of thing. He was a nice guy, just was into weird stuff, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try and lose weight if I got my own crib soon. Um, not sure how I'm going to do, though. I need to see what kind of equipment I, I, sh I need. But I don't think like jogging and stuff is going to do it all. Condition as well. Oh my god, I need to go to do my condition better as well. Because condition is also terrible. Especially as a goalkeeper. I intend to avoid training at all costs when it's like way too warm. Because I can't tr I can't football with my suit on. I have a long sleeve and a long pants on because I, I think it's more comfortable. It's more for impact. And also, it's actually mainly just for impact why I have long pants and long sleeves. But... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have got any like ideas for me to give for what I could do to potentially lose weight, just re reducing the amount of food that I consume, I'm trying there. And I also I eat a lot of foods with like fats in it, like yogurt, especially yogurt. Yogurt is the main thing. See what all the focus is? Yeah, yogurt is the one that pisses me off. It's good, but it's also very fattening in general. But yeah, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Definitely let me know down in the comments below if you guys got any suggestions for me to lose weight because I want to lose weight. Without a doubt. My goddamn father keeps on saying, oh, fatty, fatty, fat, oh, little stomach. Screw you, man. Get goddamn asshole. You ain't got no hair left. You want, to, you want me to plant some seeds in your head? 
He doesn't like when I say that because <laughs> well, I don't like when he says this about me. I know it's a joke, but I do take it as like, okay, maybe I should get into work more, but um, let me know. Let, 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 let me know down in the comments below um, if you got any tips for me to do. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Just be honest to me, brutally honest. Some will be like, oh, but you don't look overweight. Yeah, I don't look like overweight now, but I am starting to the point. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. See you guys in tomorrow's podcast video. Peace out.